What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today I did bring back the SIG P320 for a very specific reason. I had a lot of folks that had asked and or indicated you know, some concern about the SIG and you know, how do you really know it's safe? What did they do? So on and so forth um, when they had some issues that came to light after the military originally had taken the first batch of P320s or M17s as a lot of folks call them. So that's what I wanted to go over today. So let's go ahead and dive right in. And so a lot of folks, you know, after they sent their gun or their P320 back to SIG, they noticed that they had a much thinner trigger. So, yes, that was actually definitely one component that they did. You know, the, the weight of the trigger um, was a potential contributor to it going off if the gun was dropped. And that's because anything in motion will continue in motion. So if the gun was dropped, there's mass, this will continue on its course or potentially have some sort of uh, action to it. But really the biggest key difference is what they did here um, with respect to the mechanisms that they changed. So not only did they add a safety disconnector here, so which is, is going to be tied in with the gun firing in its normal semi-automatic mode, which they put that in place to make sure that the trigger couldn't be pulled while the slide was in motion. Um, that was something that they changed, not necessarily pertaining to the drop piece, but at least just one thing I wanted to explain. You can see that here. It's actually very evident on the slide where they milled this piece down, and then that disconnector essentially rides along that slide, and it's depressed while the reciprocation motion is in, in effect. So here, this is the pieces that I really wanted to show you. Uh, when you pull on the trigger, you see that little piece right here. So we have the, there's a safety mechanism here, and then the actual sear. So essentially what they did is they put in what they call an extra leg, um, basically a component within that trigger group that makes it much more difficult for that safety just to come up on its own. Whereas the previous models, you could literally just barely even touch it with your finger, um, let alone shake the gun and it would move. And so that was something that they put in place to make it much more difficult for this to come up, which would essentially allow this component right here, which is actually your sear, to drop. Which if that drops, your firing pin's gonna go forward and the gun's gonna go off. So another thing, or at least actually the final stage of what they did, basically if all else fails, what they did here, they milled this sear. There's a ledge right here. Um, and of course, this is where the normal firing pin engagement would be. You can see it, that little lip. And basically this bar was complete solid stock right there going straight across. They milled that down. So basically if the trigger is not depressed, and the firing pin falls off this ledge essentially or comes disconnected from this ledge, there's a well, might be tough to zoom in on here, but right in there is where they milled that out and it's basically a second shelf or ledge that's essentially going to catch the firing pin and stop the gun from firing on its own. So myth dispelled, it wasn't just the trigger that they replaced and then the, the disconnector which doesn't actually affect the uh, drop safety portion of it, but at least um, that gives you some idea and concept of what they did. And they also had replaced the firing pin with a lighter striker. So that was another thing that I did at least want to mention and bring up. Outside of that, you know, definitely appreciate you folks stopping by. Uh, next Saturday, I'm going to be premiering a new gun, which I told you was on the way. And ultimately, I'll give you a quick sneak peek now. But I'm not going to open it. It is a SIG. Super excited about it. There'll be some more videos to come on that. A um, couple of different areas and topics and things I wanted to cover. So greatly appreciate you watching my videos. Definitely hit that like and subscribe button. Help support my channel. Definitely helps me out. And then gives me ideas too. You know, when I see everybody else's comments, feedback to put out different content and things that you want to see. Hope you have a great day. Stay safe and be vigilant.